Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Wolfpack 365 Pack 16. The Pack 16 means this one has a 16 foot garage in the back. As we get started up front here, we have this fiberglass molded front cap with the LED accent lights there. Uh, right here underneath me, this is going to come equipped with the generator on board already. And as you can see, we have the Yamaha 5500 with the inverter technology built in to give you a cleaner power if you're running your electronics. It also comes with a remote start. You can see that is down at the bottom there. So you can start that while you are inside the camper, outside the camper, wherever you are. There's also a switch on the inside. Underneath here, we just have your battery um, where that is located. We have your docking light switches here. And they've also added the storage to go all the way past through to the front and side to side with the D-rings incorporated as well. On the outside here, we have your fiberglass skin. We have your 20 pound LP tank bottle. We have one here and one on the other side and that will be filled by the Outpost RV for you. Here's another look at the storage compartment. Again with the D-rings there and the built-in LED lights. We have your on-demand furnace, which is gas only since it's on-demand, but about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. Water heater. I'm sorry, your water heater here. <laughs> and right up above me, you'll notice the power awning. This actually comes with two power awnings where each leg is adjustable. We also have the blue accent LED lights on each arm as well. Oversized grab handle. We have your sturdy steps going in where each leg is adjustable. So if you're on different levels of ground, we have the wolf head emblem etched out there, black tempered glass entrance door with a full size screen door and also an integrated window on the door itself. Outside speakers, we have one here and one a little bit further back that light up blue. We are pet friendly. We have your leash latch here so the furry family members can tag along as well. With the outside kitchen area, we have your refrigerator ice maker, sink area, and also um, a drawer here for utensils. Down below, we do have a gas LP quick disconnect, so you could take your portable grill with you as well. And beside that, you'll notice the bracket to the left. This is prepped for the one-touch auto leveling system. You can add that aftermarket as well. So one touch, and it will level itself out. We do have a center cap popped off here. It is the quick easy loop axles. Each wheel will have self-adjusting brakes and a tire pressure monitoring system. And how that works, the side is green. If you're low on air, that will turn red. So we'll unscrew that to demonstrate. That way you can just walk around and do a visual check before you head off for your next destination. In the back here, we have your entrance door going into the garage area. Same screen door, same integrated window, oversized grab handle. We have your TV bracket. It is going to be the same bracket that would be on the inside, so you can lift your TV up, bring it out here, slide it in. We have our TV connections down below. We have electric jacks in the back with the extend retract button here. How that works, one will come down and hit the ground first, then the other one will come down and equal on pressure. And that will stabilize the back end of the camper for you. We also have a built-in ventilation system right here. There will be one on the other side as well, so you can get cross ventilation if you're traveling down the road with something uh, that has fumes in it to keep the garage aired out for you. Another leash latch in the back here. As we make our way to the very back, we have the patio system set up and the porch system already. There is an entrance step that comes with this that'll go right here. I'll show you that on the inside. Uh, we just don't have room to set it up in here. You'll notice we have the Three Seasons patio door on this camper that is included as well. Up top with the LED light, and the camera prep so you can add um, an observation camera so you can see behind you the entire time while traveling. We do have the built-in fuel station as well and actually up top there with that black bracket um, it is prepped for a ladder so you can purchase a ladder separately and so that way you can maintain the caulk on the roof. We have your built-in fuel station here right here is where you would uh, fill that up and to turn on and off the water pump would be right here. And that also has your fuel gauge to let you know how full or empty the tank is. Underneath, we have a sewer hose holder, so you can store that when not in use. This is a 50 amp unit, and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. And right up here, we have cable satellite connections. So if you're in a campground and they offer that, you can tap right into it right there. 
as we move in front of the slide room area, we're going to have a high pressure spray port right here and then a low pressure spray port. Um, the high pressure is if you want to wash off like a golf cart or something like that. Low pressure is going to have hot and cold water and would be a much lower pressure for that. We have your black tank flush at the top in the middle. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you can blast out your black tank. And then your water connections, we have the fresh water on the left. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up the fresh water tank, which is almost 100 gallons, and turn on your water pump and use that. We also have your city water connection. So if you're at a campground, you can hook up your water hose, and that will just pressurize the lines for you. Right here with the other side of your pass-through storage and the other 20-pound LP tank. And that concludes our outside walkthrough of the Wolf Pack 365 Pack 16. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside here, we got lots of living room space. You can see the sofa there. All three seats will recline for you. And that sits directly across the TV location, which is right there. So we'll actually go ahead and just get started right inside the door here. Uh, you got your TV connections up top, TV backer in the wall, so you can hang your TV there. We have your window with the zebra blinds, which are also going to be in the slide room. You can have those darkened out or partially open to let some sunlight in. We have your dinette seating here. We have the furnace underneath as well. In the kitchen area, we have a 110 outlet and your carbon monoxide detector on the end of the cabinet here. Uh, lots of counter space up top. We have your high rise faucet with the pull out sprayer. We also have the large single bowl kitchen sink, farmhouse style, comes with the prep cover, so you can use that as extra space if you don't need the sink. 110 outlets in the back, with that decorative wallboard as well. We have a three burner stove and the oven. The three burner stove also has that prep cover, so you can use that as prep space if you're not cooking. And as you can see, we got storage on both sides here. Up top, lots of storage. We have the glass doors. Gives it a really nice residential feeling up there. Microwave. And it also has the range vent. That vents to the outside. We have your door going into the garage area. As you can see, it has the window built into it. And right up above that, we have your loft area. And that is going to include a ladder going to the loft, which is actually in the garage area. And we'll head back there and take a look right now. In the garage, again, we have a 16 foot garage here. Lots of tie downs, you can see going all the way back. We have your couches, which can also turn into another sleeping area. We have your table in the middle of that. On the floor is gonna be that ladder that I was talking to you about that goes up to that bunk area. Over here, we have another 110 outlet and another window. In regards to those patio steps on the outside, those are gonna be hanging up on the inside right here. So those attached to the wall. And again, those are the patio steps, so you can utilize the patio. We have the upper bunk bed that is above the two sofas here. Windows on both sides behind the sofas. We have your three seasons door. And as you can see, the screens are actually in three different positions. We have the right one all the way up, the left one all the way down, and the two in the middle at different levels. So you can open each of those um, to any of those settings right there. This door, how it operates, there's a hinge right in the middle. Then these middle doors will just slide open to access the patio. And then there's going to be a, a, another string kind of right in the middle of my screen here. And you will pull that and that will open the entire left side of the door. So if you're loading up your toys um, and the right side will also have one as well. Over here, we kind of have your control panel, the switch to operate the bunk beds here and another 110 outlet. Again, the entrance into the garage. In the back area up top, we do have a camera mount. So you can actually add a camera back here so you can keep an eye on your toys while you're traveling down the road. Another TV mount, there is a backer in there. So you can hang a TV up there. We have your washer dryer hookups with the water outlet, 110 outlet there. 
And we also have your furnace vent going to the back. In the corner, we have your bathroom that is on a hinged wall. You can see up top, we have the two hinges there. And I'll open this up so we can take a peek inside. With that, you can actually move this wall all the way over if you needed to, to gain more garage space, more floor space in here. And in the bathroom area, as you can see, there is a tie down in here as well. So they run up all the way up. We have your half bath, with your toilet, sink area, and a 110 outlet. And this also comes with a window in here as well. As we move back out to the main living room area, we have this huge refrigerator. As you can see, it's got the double doors up top and it's got double freezers down below. Uh, this thing is huge. Got a digital readout up front here on the inside. You can see how deep that is. Lots of shelves, lots of storage. We also have this pantry. So you can see they have the frosted glass on here as well. Lots of storage inside. We've got the LED lights in here. They also have built-in drawers, which is really cool. And down below at the very bottom with extra storage there. With the sofa, again, all three of these will recline. And these are the heated massage chairs with the blue accent lights as well. Zebra blinds up above with the decorative lighting and extra LEDs up top. Over here, we have more storage at the top. We have your coat rack to the right hand side as soon as you walk in the entrance door there. Then here we have your main control panel it's also Bluetooth, so you can sync your phone to it and run the options that way. We have your 12-volt heating pads, light switches. On the far left, we have your digital thermostat to run your AC and furnace. In the middle, with the blue light flashing, that is going to be uh, where you can operate your stereo from your phone. You can operate the inside and outside speakers and play music from your favorite app, like Pandora. We also have your voltmeter. Since we do have the juice pack and expansion pack on this camper. So we do have the extra solar up top. Down below we have your fireplace which can be on just for looks as it is now. Or it can be on to put off heat just like a space heater at your house. And just to the right of that we have your breakers and fuses. Moving up to the bedroom area we have your steps going up with the window grab handle on the right hand side. Over to the left is actually going to be your generator start from the inside and it will also have your meter to keep track of the hours on the generator. We'll try to spin around here and take a look at that. That is your interior generator switch. To the right we have your bathroom area. And as we go in here you'll notice the large corner shower with the skylight up above it. We also have this large vent fan that is a multi-speed exhaust fan there. This is also going to have two medicine cabinets in here. We have one over to the right. Down below we have your toilet that is seated at an angle. And then just to the left of that corner shower, we're going to have the lavatory area. Lots of storage down below there. Large sink in here. And we also have another medicine cabinet right up above that. This also has an entrance door into the bedroom. And as we move inside here, you'll notice the window on this side of the bed. We have your king size mattress. It's open storage on the right hand side with the 110 outlet. Overhead storage. And then we have some hanging storage off to the left hand side. Decorative wall board up in front of the mattress there. And then we have a slide out in the bedroom. That's going to offer a lot more hanging storage. It has a window in the middle of it and some drawers as well. We do have double AC on this camper. And as you can see, we have one up here in the bedroom that is ducted in with the entire camper. So if you're running the air up here, it will actually force air throughout the entire camper as well. 
We have your thermostat for the air conditioner up here, your slide room switch, and some light switches. The furnace is ducted all the way up here as well, as you can see with the round duct. And last but not least up here, there is another TV connection up top here in the corner and a TV backer in the wall. So you can add a TV up here as well. And we will head back down and get an overview of the main camper here. On our way out, we have this thermostat that is for your on-demand water heater. So you can turn that on and off right here and adjust the temperature as well. And that will conclude our walkthrough for the Wolfpack 365 Pack 16. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.